What's up YouTube? My name's Lisa. Her name is Lexi and this is LCTV. Bitch. It's hot right now and I have on some jeans. So um, August 10th was her birthday. So she turned two years old. She's two now. Today is currently August 12th. I look crusty. I just got dressed because i don't know what the title is going to be but today august 12th is my um consultation for lasik eye surgery which i have been wanting to do for a very long time now i just never had like really saved up for it i thought i was just gonna do my braces first and then um deal with my eyes i always wanted to do this i don't think that people who wake up in the morning and can see clearly are truly blessed and i feel like they don't know that they're blessed i know that i am blessed in a certain way that i am able to wear glasses and see because there are people in the world who glass like glasses can't even help them and they can't see anything so i'm blessed in a way hopefully i'm eligible to you know do the surgery because that would just be like one less thing i have to deal with waking up in the morning and not being able to see anything and then having to reach for my glasses wherever the hell they are anyways so it's 11 like 11 40 ish my appointment is at 2 and my cousin is going with me and she has to get a checkup or something so she got me an appointment to do a consultation and it's like almost 12 i woke up like 10 something i just wanted to have time i don't know why i woke up so early i honestly don't know why i woke up so early but it's really hot i live in new york by the way it's really hot and it says that it's gonna rain so lexi is currently sleeping maybe you guys will see her later maybe not i'm not sure i'm gonna make me something to eat and we'll see you guys well i'll see you guys later hi guys so it is now 12 39 i'm gonna take these off because of the glare again but i just did a little ponytail if you didn't know um me and my sister got haircuts so like our hair is really super short now and our hair grows back fast well mine does yeah my edges are not thriving today to be honest right now in this moment i'm honestly not feeling too good i feel like my breath my blood pressure is low i'm trying to drink carbonated drinks to help me feel better i'm not nervous or anything i was yesterday but no i just really don't feel good i think it's because of the heat but i'm soon supposed to leave soon i have to fix my bag real quick i just don't feel good at all. <laughs> I'm waiting for a doctor. They checked my eyes so far, and the guy was like, Oh, my prescription is high. And I was like, Oh, I thought somebody was coming. I haven't been recording that much because everything has been happening so fast. My forehead. Now I just have to wait for the doctor to come in here and tell me, you know, things about the surgery. Hopefully, I'm eligible because these glasses got to. Hey guys, so I am now back home. If you hear anything in the background, it's my family. I'm back. The consultation went great. I am eligible to do the surgery. If you are in, like, if you're obviously, if you're watching this video, you m might want to get the surgery or something. I know what I'm trying to say but if you are watching this video and you're planning on getting surgery i um hope that you watch the whole thing because i will explain how i feel during not during the procedure but afterwards this glare is pissing me off but yeah, at first i was really nervous because they said my prescription is too high or like it was very high but it turns out that i can actually do it because my i don't know what this is called or what he said it was like good like the surface is good and thick for them to do it i'm kind of nervous not for the procedure itself but for the aftercare and stuff because it says on the paper that you cannot um open your eyes for six hours after the surgery your eyes are gonna feel very very dry so i'm nervous about that but all in all i'm excited i'm not gonna share pricing because I feel like everywhere you go, it'll be different. And you guys, maybe people watching are from a different state or they go to a different doctor. But mine is a very reasonable price for the procedure that it is. And hopefully you guys can find deals also, but find a good doctor 
who can do it for you, if that makes sense. Yeah, today, all they did was, like, check everything, let me know what's going to happen. He said, no needles, no this, no that. So, um, the next time you guys will see me will be next week. Oh, also, if you wear contacts, you're supposed to stop wearing them a week before the procedure. And I, it's been like three days since I've worn mine, so that's why I got an appointment on Tuesday. Pretty, pretty fast. I'm kind of nervous, but yeah, the next time I'll see you guys is surgery day, so that'll be in a couple of days. Good morning, guys. Today is surgery day. Um, I'm on the toilet. Miss Princess, I just wanted to talk. I peed already. I'm just sitting here, but I am actually kind of nervous now. This is a like a big deal you know i'm trying to not be nervous i'm trying to just but i'm kind of scared as you see my arm is like shaking <laughs> i braided my hair last night because um the doctor said you can't wear perfume or lotion or nothing so i didn't want to risk it and put like hair products in my hair today i didn't put no hair products i just put some water braiding my hair quick fast but yeah the appointment's at three my mom and i are leaving at one almost two because it takes like an hour to get there i'm gonna actually vlog like the going because that's how i vlogged like the train a little bit but because i don't want to make my cousin feel uncomfortable with me vlogging so uh, maybe i'm gonna vlog some more it's just that i really kind of don't want to think about it that much even though i've watched a whole bunch of youtube videos on it and i was feeling good at first because everybody was like whatever then i watched one youtube video and it was just not so good and she was like oh my eyes are burning da, da, da. and i was just like your eyes are what kind of nervous to just not watch videos at all but everybody's experience is different pain is temporary pain is temporary so that's what i have to remember and at the end of the day i'm gonna be able to see so if it is painful there's drops for it and by the end of a, a month or a couple of weeks i will be perfectly fine i will be able to see and that's what i have to think about nervous hello beautiful these are ears <laughs> princess hi mama Gita. hello oh, she's helping me because she knows I'm nervous. I just called my mom. Let me at the camera. <laughs> yeah, just watching Princess. Um, I just called my mom to tell her that I was nervous. I just, like, brushed my teeth. And I, like, I nervously threw up. Like, I was thinking about it while I was brushing my teeth. And I threw up. But since I didn't eat anything last night, there was nothing to throw up. So I was just gagging. After talking to my mama, I think I feel kind of better. I think it's normal to be nervous before you do things. And like I said, pain is temporary, but it at the moment, pain hurts, you know? So, I have a, look, I was throwing up. I have a tear on my eye. I'ma just take a shower. I don't really have to get ready yet now. We're leaving like an hour and a half. But I'ma, you know, take a shower, walk princess, eat breakfast. I personally have to eat breakfast because um, I have low blood pressure. So, once I get, when I get nervous, I tend to pass out. Or I tend to, you know, just be a little weak so i'm gonna make sure my um cardiologist i think that's what i think my cardiologist i think i'm 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 stupid okay but the person who works who works with the hearts i think i said it right um she said after she checked me for a while because i kept passing out and stuff during um softball practice and stuff and i was just not feeling well and then they did some tests and they saw some irregular things in my heart so then I went to go see a cardiologist and hopefully I'm saying it right um and they checked my heart and everything so I was on medication for some time um to help with my blood pressure issues and with my heart so I could play softball now she just told me eat foods with more salt drink Gatorade and stuff so I'm gonna get something that'll fill me up I'm gonna get some Gatorade I'm gonna get a soda just to bring with me so excuse me just in case i feel nauseous again but i think i'm starting to feel a little bit better about the situation what do you want get off my stomach 
I guess she's just watching me talk. After I eat and all of this stuff, then I will vlog again. I'm just get you know get ready or whatever. You guys didn't come to see that. Oh, I'm gonna wear like comfortable clothes, but we can talk about that later. So I'll see you guys later. In a while. Okay, guys. So my mom was here, but obviously you guys should know if you watch our videos, my mom don't like to be recorded. So we are walking to the train station now to go to the place. Hopefully my mama can figure out how to record on my phone later because I don't think she knows how to. Now we're waiting for the second train. Hey guys, so they're starting to check me. Yeah, everything is looking okay. I just want to let you guys know I'm okay so far. Hey, so I know you miss me, but I'm not gonna do any flash right now because she cannot have any lights on her. But look at Miss Stevie Wonder herself. Uh, the shades look bad. No, you look like you're in the FBI. I'm fucking weak. Well, guys, so. Later during the week, I'll go in more detail of how it went, but it wasn't so good. Like, the experience, it was very uncomfortable. Right now, my eyes kind of burn, but like I said earlier, pain is temporary, and I'll get through this. But right now, I'm not feeling so good, and I keep crying, but it's just not my fault. But, like... You saw your thingy being, like, cut? No, but there's even something that was pushing my eye and it made me, like, black out. Or pass out, but it was a lot. And then that's, it felt, like, hurt so good when they took the pressure off. And then it went back to feeling bad. Are you hungry? No. I don't feel, I don't feel like shit. Okay, bye vlog. We're back. So, it's 6.30 right now. Well, 6.31, I don't know. But we gave her her first eye drops of the day. Did they make you feel better? Not really. Still burns? A little bit. It feels like you know when you have something in your eye. Mm -hmm. And you want to pull it out. That's what it feels like. It's very uncomfortable. <laughs> My nose is stuffy because I was crying. That's it. <laughs> hey, You're guys. covering the camera. Oh. <laughs> Where's the camera? Hello, guys. So, it's been... I got my surgery done at 4. It is now... 8.30-something. 8.35. And before... I was going through it, okay? Hopefully, you guys didn't see me. My eyes are still closed. They have to still be closed for a minute. But, um... I was going through it. And I'm going to be very honest. Everybody's experience is different because my cousin said that it didn't burn for her at all. But for me, it was burning. Okay, let me tell you, it was burning. But right now, I'm calm. It just feels like you got like, you know, if you wear contacts, it feels like you got something stuck in your contact. It's very annoying. But like I said, always, pain is temporary, my friend. So, yeah, I have to chill like this um, for basically the rest of the night. Oh, I don't want Popeyes. Goodbye. Hey guys. Put love home. So, I'm gonna stay right here. So, I just opened my eyes. I'm squinting now. I'm close. I'm gonna close them. And I can see, bro. My eyes are swollen. Can they see that? Yeah, my eyes are swollen. And, um, yeah, I can see a lot. I can see. Like, it feels like I have. Oh, you guys can't see me. Um, it feels like I have contact, like, the same way I can see with my contacts, and I feel really good. My mom wants me to go to sleep, so I'm gonna try to go to sleep now. Mommy, I care you, think you can time me. Um, we have to go back. I'm still gonna vlog. I'm gonna, ooh, okay. I have my eyes closed. <laughs> um, I'm gonna vlog the whole recovery process, but now I'm gonna call my boyfriend to say goodnight. Okay, I can't be on my phone, so go back. Um, Good morning, guys. It's now 10 something. My eyes are closed right now. 
last night was not very good right now my right eye is kind of um irritating um i just woke up lexi has to put two eye drops in right now um because i have to go back at once and it'll go in like 10 30 my eye so i'm gonna have to put another drop in like 12 30. last night was bad i had to go to the bathroom i needed assistance lexi was just this is it's harder for Lexi because I've never done something like this. But I was calling her a lot, calling her a lot, and she didn't wake up. So I was struggling. I had to go to the bathroom by myself, and I couldn't open my eyes. My eyes were really dry, and it was kind of burning me a little. Um, my The bed deflated like three times, and I was uh, struggling to find the thing. And it was just not good. My neck is hurting a lot because the bed was deflated. The thing is that, like... I couldn't help her, right? But they say sleep talks almost every single night. So I didn't know whether she was, like, asking me for help or, like, doing a regular sleep talking thing. So that makes it harder for me to realize if she actually needs my help. Anyways. Okay, guys, and yes, I'm wearing the same fucking pajamas as yesterday. Mind your neck. I still don't know if I could be on my phone, but I want to show you guys how my eyes are looking right now. Um, trigger warning. They're swollen in this eye. Uh, you can see. But it's red. Hopefully you can see that. I can see the light doesn't bother me. How I thought people were like, some people have light sensitivity. I'm fine. These shades though. So I just brushed my teeth. I don't know what time is it. What time? Uh, ew, princess. I should get her lighting and all that. It's time fifty-six. It's time fifty-six, and I have to take a shower, get ready, and all of that stuff. Um, because, like I said, we're going. To, I have to Do go to my room. No, I don't know if yesterday I really went in depth on what the fuck happened, but okay. Pros and cons so far. Pro, a motherfucker can see. <laughs> that's just a pro. That's the best pro. I'm closing my eyes while I talk because I, it's it's annoying. It it is annoying. And I look stupid as hell with these shades, but I don't care. I got surgery. Um, con, if you do watch LASIK videos like the little stimulation videos or like the little animations, they say that there's this thing, this circle thing that goes onto your eye. They get that it feels like pressure. Pressure? I actually felt like somebody was taking their hand and trying to rip my eyeball out. When they then they use that to give pressure to cut the little thing and then take it. When they took that shit out, it felt so good. And then after that, they took a little like scalpel thing, not scalpel, but a little like thing to lift up the flap that they had cut. I felt that. I was like, um, this feels uncomfortable. But anyways, um, everybody's experience is different. Don't get scared from my video, but please be aware. My cousin says she felt nothing. And we went to the same doctor. So everybody's body is different. My body, I tend to really feel every little thing. Like when I get my blood drawn, I feel the needle slide in my skin and slide out. Like I feel it all. So that it's just my problem. This eye hurt more. Maybe that's why it's red. I'm more irritated than this eye. But yeah, that part was the worst part. This eye couldn't focus. When you're laying down, you have to focus on a red light, which is the laser. I didn't feel the laser at all. Thank God, that's the main part I didn't feel. This eye didn't want to focus on the red light. I don't know why. So yeah, this eye is bugging me a little bit. Other than that, the procedure was super quick. Um, They gave you drugs. They gave me a Xanax before. And then, like, once I went in to calm my nerves, and then they asked me if I wanted another one, I said yes. <laughs> And I got another one before the procedure. After the procedure, what happened? Oh, during the procedure, there's a lady, well, when I went, that I could hold her hand. I don't know if every place was, but I was squeezing the fuck out of this lady's hand because I would just, it's just so uncomfortable. The things to keep your eyes open are so cold and uncomfortable, and I felt it. Like, and it was just, I didn't like that at all. Um, But anyways, after the procedure, they took me to a dark ass room with like comfy ass chairs and they had my me with my legs up and they would like, just sit here with the eyes closed for a couple minutes i was like okay coffee eh? but my body was just so like jittery that i just didn't know what to do. i was like this sitting on the chair i was like oh like 
I felt like I was, it was done for me. Then afterwards, she came up to me and she was telling me all of the things that I needed to do. <clears throat> now she asked who was with me. My mom was with me. So she's like, okay, I'm going to tell your mom everything. I don't even know. Did she give my glasses to mommy? Because she was like, oh, are these your glasses or something? And I was like, bitch, I can't see. Um, can you describe them? <laughs> And then she was like, oh, this is like brown and stuff. I was like, yeah, they mind, dog. Then after that, she gave me two ibuprofens. And then I didn't drink all the water. She was like, it's best to drink all of the water. And I was like, okay, bitch, I got you. So then after that, she helped me up. She helped me up slowly. No, she asked me. She was like, we have Reese's cups. Do you want some? And I was like, yes. <laughs> I said, give me that. So then before i could even eat it she was like okay let's get up and i was like bitch you just offered me something can i eat it so then whatever so i got up she walked me to my mother mother she walked me to my mama she was telling my mom everything and i couldn't see the reese's cups right it was little i didn't know that the little ones had like paper on it so i opened the wrapper part mind you my eyes are closed so i'm like okay so then i feel it around it didn't girl tell the story i couldn't feel it around like if i had paper anything so i just threw it in my mouth and then I'm biting, and I bite into paper. I said, whoop. So I had to like pull the paper out of my mouth or whatever. Yeah, I already explained the drops. Um, One every two hours and then one every four hours. So every four hours, I'm taking the one for two hours. It makes sense. My mom took me down the elevator. We were going to try to see if we could take the train, but I was so drugged up and I was just not feeling well that I was like, no, let's just find a taxi to get out of here. We found a taxi on the ride. My mom had an unpleasant phone call from a, a nobody. I called my boyfriend. I told him like, okay, I'm finished. I was I started crying because I was in a lot of pain. Like it was okay. A one through 10, it was like a seven burning. It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't like um, pain, pain, but it was a lot more discomfort that turned into pain a little bit. So then my mom was like, just go to sleep, just go to sleep. I tried to go to sleep, but then some annoying ass bitch was calling my mama to talk about some stupidity. So I couldn't even sleep because I was trying to focus on that and making sure my mama was okay. Because even though I'm injured right now, I could pull up on a hoe. Then when I got home, what happened when I got home? I don't remember. I used the bathroom and I went on Lexi's bed and then I got bored so I was just like walking around the house but I was blind. Well I had my eyes closed. And then eventually I ended up taking a nap. Then I woke up, I ate some dinner around 10.30 where I had to get my eye drops. That's when I opened my eyes for the first time. And I have, I think I recorded when I was like, oh I can see. But bitch, when I say I can see, I can see. If I take my like right now the phone is kind of blurry like the numbers and stuff but obviously it's normal because first of all my eyes are swollen second of all i'm still healing huh so he said by the end of the week like my eyes should be like good good but i still have to recover for two weeks and i'm still gonna wear my shades I'm gonna wear my shades i'm still gonna protect my eyes because i did not pay all of this money to not see okay I'm sorry, I'm in a mood today. But yeah, now I'm just gonna go try to take a shower. I don't really want to open my eyes that much. I'm squinting, first of all, because it's just annoying. This eye, like, when I look this way, it hurts. Like, I don't like it. But I will keep updating you guys as the days go along. And hopefully I can edit this vlog. But if I can't, Lexi will have to edit it. Okay, so... I didn't want to vlog what, right when we got out of our of our house because um, I didn't want to expose my address. But bitch, I could see. I can see like my eyes still red. It feels like somebody like <laughs> cleaned my eyes. <laughs> bitch, I could see. This is weird. Hey guys, so I just left my checkup and everything is good. It's just my right eye, the one that has like the, the spot on it, that's normal. I, I I can see less from this eye than this eye, but when I open both, I can see fine. It's still a little blurry, but everything is good. I just got to come back in a month. Maybe I'll, that'll be like a separate video, but I'll just let you know when I am home. But I just got back. Um, my eye is still red. Um, he said that I only have to wear the shades. Sorry, I look so bad. I, just, I have to wear the shades 
only when I go outside for two weeks and then indoors I don't have to. I have to take my eye drops every four hours now. They'd be good by the end of the week or completely good by two weeks. You guys will see Lexi in the next videos and stuff. I am not taking over the channel. Lexi gives me permission also to post when things happen in my life because nothing is really happening at the moment in hers. But you guys will see her soon because school is starting for her. A lot of things are going to go on in both of our lives. Hi guys. Same top again. Because we have different bottoms. Same top because it doesn't really matter. To be very honest. But it's day three. I know. Well, maybe I'm not even going to keep it in the vlog. But I ended it yesterday. I have crust on my eye. Yes, I have the same shirt on, bro. I'd, I'd just be in my house. But it's day three. I was going to end it yesterday because everything was good. But I feel like I brushed my teeth already. I woke up clearly. I put the drops in my eyes. But I feel like today I see less than yesterday. I don't, I don't know if this is part of the process. But I did want to include it in the vlog. Even though I want to get this vlog up soon. It's weird. Like I feel like I see less. Which I thought it was like okay. Tomorrow you'll see a little bit. The next day you'll see more. That's how I thought. I thought it was going to progress. But no. I, I kind of. Hopefully. The camera hasn't been ashy. This whole time, it's just, I couldn't really see so. I feel like yesterday was clearer than now. So, I'm kind of worried. I'm trying to look at the stove clock. With this eye, I can't see. Do that. Yesterday, if I was sitting all the way over here, I could see the stove clock. Maybe I'm going to not overthink it. And I'll keep you guys updated on this situation. So, it's day three. Yeah, this is kind of like um i don't know yesterday i was very upbeat and motivated well not at the end i was really tired after the because the walk to manhattan is is a lot but i was genuinely like excited i was like you know bitch i could see and now i wake up and like it's fucking blurry it's not motivating me to freaking be happy right now yesterday in the afternoon like in the night i really felt bad like emo mentally it's a me problem not my eye. it has nothing to do with my eyes but that was taking a toll on everything like i was just so over it because i just you know like i have my mom and my sister and they just like get up to help me and stuff but i still feel kind of alone in this like i'm the only person who keeps me company is my freaking dog I literally just had the surgery, bro. Hi, guys. So, it's still the same day. I really don't remember what I had on when I started. It's the same day as the last clip. But I just want to update you guys on my eyes. So, everything was going fine. It was still kind of blurry. Then I took a nap. And now when I open my eyes, it's kind of worse than um, this morning. It's a lot more blurry. It's almost time to put my drops in my eyes. So, maybe that's why. My eye is still red. Still blurry. I have a different fit on today. But it is now the next day. As you can see, my eye is still red and stuff. I can... I, it's still blurry. But yesterday, like, after a couple hours went by, I could see a little bit. So, it's just a process. I'm gonna, you know, try to deal with this process. But yeah, I'm here to just close out the vlog. So if you did enjoy, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel because we're going to be posting on what, princess? Okay, on a consistent basis. But yeah, we'll see you guys in our next video. Peace.